Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm bringing you the buzz on how to get the bee mount and other unbelievable bee themed rewards of 825. I am not sorry. Before you get started, you must meet three requirements. First, you must be Alliance. If you're Horde, not only can you not do any of this, as things stand right now, you can't even ride the mount if it's on your account. I guess bees just hate the Horde. Second, you must be level 120. The intro event won't trigger below that, I tried. And third, you must have either the Bumble's pet or the Seabreeze Bumblebee will also do. I have a guide out that I'll link below on how to get Bumbles, but it will take a minimum of seven days. The Seabreeze Bumblebee, on the other hand, is easier to just grab. That one's off the Storm's Wake rep vendor at Revered for 250 polished pet charms. It's also cageable, so check the auction house. To get started, take that level 120 plus alliance character to the Mildenhall Meadery flight point here. Summon your Bumbles or Seabreeze Bumblebee pet and take him over to Barry. You can't miss him, he's covered in bees. He tells you to follow the green clouds. At this point, you can fly yourself directly to the hive located here. You don't need to do anything with the bee farts at all, they're just pointing the way. Approach the hive and both Barry and a big angry bee will show up. Next, turn around and walk a little ways to this point here and loot your first thin jelly. It is the only spot that you can get that first one. Show that to the big bee, and then talk to Barry who will dance with her, and then you can enter the hive. Give your jelly to the goo bee on your left, which will give you 20 rep with the honeyback hive. Congrats, you are now officially started. Until you've done all that, you won't be able to see jelly nodes and the rare will not give you rep, so it's important to do that beginning in order. So now you've got two different bee related bars to fill. The goo bee has its own friendship meter, and there's also the honeyback hive rep. Those are separate, but you tend to get both together, so it doesn't actually matter that much. Your only source of friendship is jelly. You get jelly from a few different sources and turn it into your goo bee. Each thin jelly gives 5 friendship and 20 rep, so you'll need 700 thin jelly per friendship level. There are 3 tiers of friendship with this thing, so you'll need a total of 2100 jelly to cap both your friendship and your rep. You can also find rare rich jelly and epic royal jelly worth 4 and 8 thin jellies each respectively. You can trade your jellies at the hive for better ones, but the rep turn in math checks out dead even. Trade your jellies if you need better ones for the vendor or just want to click less turning them in, otherwise don't worry about it. So there's three sources of jelly. First are the jelly deposit nodes. They look like this and you'll find them all over Stormsong Valley. If you're not seeing any, go back and make sure that you gave that intro bit to the harvester. Jelly deposits are shared like other nodes, so multiple people can loot the same one. As you gain rep, the nodes will give you more jelly. At Honored, you'll start seeing the blue rich jellies occasionally drop, and at Revered, you have a chance to see the epic royal jellies. They can also drop consumable bee hats and the jelly magnet, which gives you more jelly from deposits for half an hour. I also recommend getting yourself a few sets of monal hardened stirrups to let you gather nodes without dismounting. Once you hit Revered Reputation, you can buy the Bee Holder's Goggles from Barry the Beekeeper, who hangs out right outside the hive. They'll cost you 20 rich jelly, but speed up farming significantly. If you don't want to invest the jelly, see if you can get into a group with someone who has and follow them around for a faster farm. The second source is the Honeyback Harvester Events. Those are rare events you can find where you'll fend off waves of attackers to protect a friendly bee. At the end, you'll loot a fresh jelly deposit with, again, jelly and potential goodies like the magnet. You can start an event if you find a friendly Honeyback Harvester NPC, which can rarely spawn in these locations. You can do these multiple times per day, and I recommend keeping an eye on the group finder and general chat for Harvester events to join. They're reportedly dropping more and better loot depending on the rares that spawned in the event, which may or may not be tied to how quickly you kill the waves. Your third jelly source is our good friend, the Honey Smasher. We don't really know much about him, but he's clearly living his best life. The Honey Smasher is an elite rare with a ton of health that spawns pretty often up here north of the hive. Kill him once per day for 500 reputation and some jelly, among other goodies like the hats and magnet. You'll probably want some help, so check the group finder. You do still get your rewards even if you're in a raid group, so fill it up. My only other tip for him is don't pull him too far from his spawn point. He tethers and resets really early and that's just a bad day. Time for an important fun jelly fact. It does not bind to you. At all. You can farm jelly on your alts and send it to your main, post it on the auction house, buy it on the auction house, all that good stuff. So that's how you grind and here's what you get. 
The mount reward is of course the Honeyback Harvester's Harness. To get the mount, all you need to do is raise your Gooby through three friendship levels to mature and then complete a short questline. You technically don't need the rep at all for the mount, but you'll get it anyways while turning in jelly and higher rep will make your farming go faster. There are also three new butterfly pets you can get from this. The sun-soaked Flitter and Poppy both have a chance to drop from the fresh jelly deposit at the end of the Harvester defense events. The Crimson Skipper Butterfly has a chance to drop from the Honey Smasher. Those are all cageable, so you can buy or sell them on the auction house and they are usable on Horde characters. If you want more colors or just a pretty butterfly sooner than that, that model is also available in the Blue Flitter Vendor Pet and Leafy Flutter Wings Lildazar Wild Pet. There are a few other items you can get from the three sources, such as the cosmetic bee pet hats and BB gun, but those are consumables and not permanent toys. The other vendor items, like the Tide Bloom Honey and Butterfly Net, are not tied to any collectibles and so far seem super not worth it. So, with all that in mind, I have three recommendations. First, if you're not in a big hurry but want the bee mount at some point, just unlock the rep and then kill the Honey Smasher every day. That 500 rep per day will put you in a much better position to start farming whenever you do get around to it. The other benefit of waiting is potentially less competition for jelly notes. Second tip, save any jelly magnets you find until either after you get the bee goggles or until you're in a reliable group with someone who has them. With that buff up, ignore everything but jelly notes. And third, consider using an add-on to track the jelly spawns and plan your route. I am using GatherMate 2 with the Jelly Deposit Locations plugin to mark on my map any spot that I have looted a jelly. That makes it a lot easier for me to plan my route and then remember which areas to avoid. And so that is the bee content of 825. Thanks for watching, happy farming, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!